what's up, everybody? Welcome to the When in Seoul podcast. Hello. Hello. <laughs> my uh, name is Bobby Choi. And this is Danny Cho to my left right here. Hey, hey, <laughs> everybody. Um, this episode, we're going to talk about food in Korea. Yes, just typically eating in Korea. Mm-hmm. Um, if you're visiting, um, there's a lot to expect. Uh, where to start? Where do we begin? I mean, you know, uh, I'm when I travel to other countries, I'm I'm not a sightseeing guy. You know? Yeah, I'm not either. You know, I'm more of a all right. What does this place got to do? Like in terms of food, like what do they got? You know? That's the first thing I look up. Food places, uh, right? Yeah. What do we have to try? Especially mm-hmm. if we're only there for a few days. Mm-hmm. What is the must tries? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and um, so I mean, obviously they got like Western food here. They, you know, my, my friend owns like a a taco joint here. You know, there's mm-hmm. burger spots. You know, uh, things like that. But I think what we uh, should talk about are the Korean food because you're not going to come to Korea to eat a burger, guys. Yeah. You know what I mean. I, with that being said, there are decent burger spots, but, you know, you come to Korea to eat Korean food, right? You yeah. Know? yeah. And so, um, a little background, uh, given that I'm from L.A., mm-hmm. L.A., Koreatown, or L.A. in general, uh, has the most concentration of Koreans outside of Korea, mm-hmm. right? And so, their Korean food game is pretty solid. It is pretty good, yeah. You know, uh, as yeah. a matter of fact, I would venture to say that some of the food in LA, Korean food in LA, is mm-hmm. better than the stuff I've had here in Korea. Yeah, we could have a whole discussion about that, actually. Yeah, so if, if for those that are listening that are in LA or from LA, um, yeah, uh, you know, you guys Don't probably get sundubu here. <laughs> yeah, do <laughs> not a... get sundubu, right. which is that spicy tofu soup. It's not what stew. you're gonna... It's not what you expect, you know? Right. It's just different here, and it's not... Yeah. It's a a different ball game. Mm -hmm. So when you come out here, if you're from L.A. or wherever you're from, uh, let's say you're from New York or even a more rural town, uh, Korean food is like a hot thing these days, Mm -hmm. you know. And so I guess we're going to help you navigate in terms of what you should take advantage of when you're in Korea. Because we don't want you to eat something that you can, that you might like better from where you're from. Yes. So here... Uh, Let's start off. What's your favorite thing to eat, Danny? My favorite thing to eat in Korea is uh, samgyeopsal, which is pork belly. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, because pork belly, uh, from my experience, Mm -hmm. the pork belly here Mm -hmm. tastes better than the pork belly back home. I absolutely agree with you. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's Mm -hmm. if, if it's the, you know, the way they're raised or whatever. I don't know. I don't know if it's that, but it just tastes better. They just have their pork game just spot on here yeah. like back back home like you know what i i like karbi uh-huh. uh like uh sogogi like uh the beef beef yeah uh, i i would say like i think the karbi game in la is pretty solid mm-hmm, mm-hmm. um here i don't get karbi as much right but tsangyeopsal it's right. like once a week thing yeah at least yeah you know um i'm vegan now yeah so i can't touch that stuff but for for the longest time my uh the Weekly ritual included Sangyeopsal once or twice a week. And it's, it's, it's awesome because the first time I came to Korea seven years ago just to visit, mm-hmm. and you just got here too, yeah. we found this spot mm-hmm. uh, in Itaewon yeah. that was like awesome. They had, they, had, they had the pork belly. They, had, they brought it out on a spit. Yeah. Like it was just like pre-cooked a little bit, just enough like at over charcoal and all this stuff Mm -hmm. and brought to your table and you finish it off perfectly at the table oh dude it was it was divine and now the punagi was great yeah the The writing on the walls Mm -hmm. and stuff like that they had like toilet paper uh hanging on um what do you call it uh hangers yeah 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 yeah. like it was just had this like atmosphere if you're visiting um that's the kind of place you want to visit. And yeah. So I think I think it's interesting though. Like you know, after you know, we we've talked to a lot of people about this, mm-hmm. but like the 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 Korean Koreans, mm-hmm. they they don't they don't really um, fully enjoy like the how do you say like the ghetto places. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, like the places yeah. where like the wallpaper is kind of peeling, you know, writing on the wall. That reminds me, like, yeah. we should probably explain why there's toilet paper hanging yeah. from the wall. Like, for us, we know. Yeah. You know, but in Korea, I don't know, like toilet paper um, can be used as napkins as yes, well, you yes. know, and so they use that in certain places here. 
Uh, you'll get toilet paper on the wall <laughs> like yeah. hanging. So you use that as napkins. Okay. Yeah, people are people no are like, one's... wait a minute, why are there toilet paper? <laughs> <Ew." laughs> like, are there holes in the ground where they're sitting too? Right. Um, no, but um, like these kind of like ghetto joints, like where mm-hmm. there's writing on the wall, like, you know, uh, is something that I love going to. Yeah. You yeah. know, but Korean Koreans here, they don't uh, seem to... I mean, they don't dislike it, but they don't... They're not obsessed with nostalgia yes, as yes. we are. Because when we walk into those places and it's like old school, plastic chairs, mm-hmm. like, um, yeah, it's it has a, something that we don't have. Right. And uh, we gravitate towards that. You know, in the States, you know how there's like like those grading systems to see like the health department comes and like oh, gives yeah. you whatever? These will probably all fail, but... <laughs> yeah. But... Come on, man. Like, like, I, I've been to a place in, in L.A. where if they got, like, a B, yeah, then they would just use it as part of their sign, uh, of their menu, and it will be, like, B, and then they write Urito afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you know, things like that, right? Or they get a C, you know what I mean? Yeah. They'll be, like, asa- arne asada. <laughs> <laughs> so, so um, you know, to me, I don't, you know, like, mm-hmm. I don't necessarily get affected by it. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and so, uh, go check out the pork. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. the, the... Get some sang- get, get some sangeops are like every neighborhood. Um, they have like their go to places mm-hmm. and some. There's like one on every corner. Right, right, right. Um, so it, it's not hard to f- find out. Like, ask anyone. Ask maybe like uh, if you're walking by uh, like a mom and pop shop. Say, hey, where's the best sangeops are? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they'll they'll they, what are they gonna tell you? To go to the worst one, no. Yeah, there's yeah. like uh, yeah. a lot of solid places. So. And 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 here's 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 a a Korean lesson for you guys. Ask you know if you're not Korean or you can't speak it, just say samgyeopsal matchip, right? Yeah. Right. Matchip means like uh, mm-hmm. like uh, <laughs> I was gonna say like tasty place, but like like tasty house. But it, yeah. it kind of means like um, what you know like a a good restaurant, right? You know. Yeah. And so. Just go in and you know you know how to ask a question. You know mm-hmm. you, if you lift the the, the the back end of the uh, sentence up, yeah, you know then that's a question, right? Right. right? <laughs> so it's like some gives <laughs> right? right? You know, shrug a little, and um, it'll that's be actually dope. there's a tip here at least for me when I uh, when I'm in a neighborhood in uh, in Seoul, wherever I go. I'll always go to Instagram mm-hmm. uh, or Facebook, and I'll just do a hashtag mm-hmm. of like if I'm on, in, if I'm in Hongdae or Itaewon, I'll just add Itaewon Machi, mm-hmm. you know, and I'll just find the spelling online. I'll Google Translate it, uh-huh. and I'll just add that hashtag and search it on Instagram, uh-huh. and then you get all of these options, and mm-hmm. a lot of them are geotagged, so you can go to that actual place, so you can wa- see the photo of it, uh-huh. see if it looks interesting enough for you, yeah. and more often than not, uh, I found I found really great restaurants that way. That way, okay. Yeah, so... Because I'm new to this place, so mm-hmm. I remember when I... Because I, I just moved, right? So yeah. I was like, yo, man, like, I was in Itaewon yeah. for, like, a long time, mm-hmm. so I knew the my, my go-to spots. Yeah, yeah. But... Now that I'm in New Spot, I was like, how do I find these right. places? And then you told me that. So I uh, I started doing that. Yeah. And um, I it's been hit or miss for me. Okay. Yeah. Because some places, they look great. And I was like, mm-hmm. kudos to the photographer. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? But 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 um, uh, yeah. but there's also like apps. You know, like in the States, they have Yelp. Yeah. Uh, they have one here called Mango Plate. I know there's other ones too. Yeah, they have but, Mango Plate. Yeah. Urban Spoon is like that. Kind yeah. of equivalent, right? Yeah. So, mm-hmm. so, so you can you can do like uh, you can look through uh, and, and see like um, reviews and things like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, but here's here's one thing I I would I would suggest. When I was in uh, K Town LA, my rule was if I went to a Korean restaurant, I look at the ratio of Koreans to non Koreans. Mm-hmm. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? First of all, it had to be a packed spot. But sure. the other thing is I would look at the ratio of Koreans and non-Koreans. Mm-hmm. And I don't know. I don't want to call this racism or whatever. But if there were more non-Koreans at a Korean restaurant, chances are the place wasn't that good. <laughs> <laughs> right? You know? Yeah. Um, and so uh, I would go in. And I if it was a place I'd never been to, I'd walk in. I'd look. And I'd be like, let's get out of here, guys. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> because, because, yo, like... 
uh, a part of me with I believe that it's like, oh, these foreigners don't know what um, kimchi jjigae is supposed to taste like, mm-hmm. you know, and so they won't. Um, They'll 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 skim on the on the ingredients a little bit. You know oh right, I mean? right, you right. Know? So the, you won't get a quality stuff. Yeah. If you, that that also applies. Let's say okay. Here's a tip. Like if you see a place uh, and it's all you can eat. Yeah. In Korea. Yeah. Um, I usually stay away from all you can eat places. Mm-hmm. In the in L A, all you can eat. Actually, you can find really good places because mm-hmm. um, beef is cheaper there. Yeah. You know. But in Korea, uh, almost every single all-you-can-eat place I've gone to, no matter what, I've been to places where it's seven bucks all you can eat. Okay. Nine bucks all you can eat. Yeah. Uh, don't fall for it. It's yeah. not. It's it's gonna be. Uh, it's not even worth the experience in mm-hmm. my. Mm-hmm. Like pay a little bit more. It's not even that expensive. Yeah. Like one order of samgyeopsal, ten bucks is about ten bucks. Yeah. Let's say you know, and so. Um, I learned this the hard way, but you have to get at least two orders. Mm-hmm. When I first moved to Korea, I was eating samgyeopsal by myself uh-huh. at this at the at Kargone in, uh-huh. in, in Itaewon, uh-huh. uh, and the sajongnim there, the owner, was uh, nice enough. Mm-hmm. The first couple times, he was he just kind of let me order one order, and then he, when we got close enough, he was like, "Oh, by the way, um, yeah." Usually you need to order two orders, <laughs> you know. But, but who eats sangeup bazaar by themselves, you know? Hey, was uh, there a technique that you yeah. did? You know, you didn't like you know. In, in Korea, there's this there's this uh, concept of like uh, it's called honba, meaning you honba. eat, you meaning yeah. by yourself. Yeah, solo eating. Yeah. How do you like? There's levels to it. You know what I yeah. mean? Like you can go to like a fast food restaurant and eat by yourself, sure, right? Sure. And that, that's not that's yeah. not. But if you're cooking your own meat. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of an advanced level. Like, is there a thing that you do to, like, you don't feel embarrassed by eating kogi by yourself? Well, I won't go anymore now by myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, I, you know, I, there was one time I was desperate to eat sangyeopsal. Uh-huh. And I felt, I just felt bad. Uh-huh. Because I know it's a business and they have to. Um, so I actually went to the, my tangor, which is the place my cheers, basically, like uh, my, my yeah. go-to place. Yeah. And it was packed, so I didn't go there. Uh-huh. So for the first time, I went to another place, uh-huh. and it wasn't as packed. Uh-huh. And I was like, I'll go in there, I'll order for two, uh-huh. <laughs> because I know ordering for one is not is a no-no. Yeah. So I ordered for two, and I ordered more sides and stuff. Oh, wow, okay. And just to make it worth it for them, money-wise, right. you know, to serve this one person eating by himself. Right. Um, but I ended up eating it all. Okay. Because I it was, you know, like you, you know, uh, it's good. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, so my my technique mm-hmm. when I'm cooking, if I'm eating mm-hmm. uh, uh, meat, the ones that you cook on the table right. by myself. Here's yeah. my tip: mm-hmm. if you if you feel embarrassed about eating this by yourself, mm-hmm. pretend like you're on the phone and talk out loud, being like, "Dude, man, you're always late." Like, like you know what I mean? Oh like, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where are you? Where are you, dude? Yeah. Come on, man. You can't be like, oh. And then, you know, you just right. kind of just like loudly so the owner thinks that, oh, someone's coming, but he's like, that oh, person's Oh, you got to really be late. an actor then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get your oh, acting all... skills up. Man, this dude's <laughs> always late, you know? <laughs> and I mean, uh, here I am eating on it. And then you get a call. Oh, like when, when you're almost done, you're like, oh, what? You right. can't make it? Dude, I already <laughs> ordered food for you. Oh, all right, man. And then, you know, like oh, that's... Oh, man. Uh, it's just making me hungry, actually. <laughs> yeah. Talk, I'm... Sorry, man. I, I haven't had it in so long, but... There's so many different ways to go about it. If you just want to come and visit and just eat every meal, Sangipsar, mm-hmm. you can get it many different ways. You can yes. get it thin cut, thick cut. Yeah. The thick cut is more like Cheju style. They yeah. do or like that black pork. Mm-hmm. Um, they There's so many different ways and, and ways it's served. Some places they only give you like... The meat mm-hmm. and like two panchans because yeah. that's how good it is. Yeah. They don't have to give you the filler and stuff right, like that. Right. There's nothing on the menu but three things. Mm-hmm. Those are good places to go to. But sometimes you want to go where there's like multiple Options. things, like like 20 different things you can order. You can order like uh, nurengji, bap, or, yeah. or something, or like kimchi jjigae, tenjan jjigae, bandegi jjigae. It's yeah. like all this crazy stuff yeah. on the side to yeah. have with your, with your meat. So. Uh, 
Uh, what what is another? What is your go to? I mean, now that you're vegan, but before when you were, you know, not in that crazy world, mm-hmm. um, what was your go to favorite dish, food wise? My favorite dish. Uh-huh. Uh, my favorite place to go, um, and that I miss the most is Yangkochi, which is lamb skewers. Lamb skewers, right. yeah. And for the longest time, I was like raving about this stuff to people back home. You know, Korea's got. This yangkochi thing, yeah, uh, and I I thought it was Korean food uh-huh. for the longest time, and then um, I found out eventually that it's Chinese, yeah, mm-hmm. right. And so, uh, but it's basically you 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 skewer these lamb skewers at your table, mm-hmm. and um, there's different ways about it these days. Like they have the automatic uh, skewer uh, turning, yeah, they rotate for you, yeah. 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 Or I, I like doing the manual, just doing it yourself. Mm. I like those old school where they have the charcoal there. Yeah. Uh, and you, you got to move the charcoal around, you know, mm. and, and kind of coax it to the right temperature. Coax it, like coax that. it. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. Get a little hotter, man. Come on. <laughs> but I would tell, if you're visiting Korea, I would tell you eat Sangyeopsar. Yeah. But... If you have a, on your second night, go get Yangkochi. Yeah. Go get some lamb skewers. Yeah. Um, but it's become so popular these days that you can get a bad Nyankochi place. Yeah. So do a little more research. Mm-hmm. Uh, if for my money, my favorite place uh, of all is Mangwan Nyankochi, which is right here. Uh, yeah, it's <laughs> near. Yeah, yeah, it's near. Uh, it's my, uh, near in my neighborhood. I've been to every, like Itaewon, Gangnam, uh, Hongdae, Hapjong. Like I've been to all of the best ones around mm-hmm. around those areas, but. I keep coming back to Mama Yeah, that place Yankuchi. is solid. I you know, you mm-hmm. introduced me to Yankuchi, mm-hmm. uh lamb skewers. And um first of all, I'm not really a fan of lamb meat in general. You yeah, know? yeah. You know, it has that gamey taste right. to it, but but this was like you know, like when, when people come to LA and then mm-hmm. they visitors, tourists, they have to eat in and out. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Mm-hmm. Every time I came to Korea I'd be like Bobby. Yeah. It, matter of fact, the mm-hmm. day I landed in Korea this yeah. this time, even though you were vegan, yeah. and I landed at like one a.m. I got here, got got to your place at one a.m. I was like, "Yo, I know you mm-hmm. can't eat any of this, yeah, but can we go?" <laughs> right, yeah, right, right. Yeah. And so, so you're like, we "All right." Went. So, so we went, and so you're right, dude. That's that's something that that I I, I crave because there are there are some lamb skewer places in L.A. Mm-hmm. But not definitely not as good. Not as good. Not as know, cheap. Not as yeah. yeah. I don't know what it is, man. Um, it's the fire, man. Those coals, like <laughs> yeah, coax it. It's really hard to get that. Um, I mean, I, I don't know what the restrictions are in the states, but mm-hmm. there's a lot more. Mm-hmm. Like you can't have open fire like coals and uh, uh, and especially in New York, I've never seen a lamb skewer place. Yeah, like, um, and it's always going to be expensive. So come here. Get it. Uh-huh. Go get it. Even though, even if you're vegan or vegetarian, <laughs> try it. It's so good. <laughs> Just eat it. And another thing, like every single thing, they have a menu besides the lamb skewers, mm-hmm. like the yori, uh, just the regular plates and dishes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All of it is good. Yeah, it's all amazing. You could just point and say, uh, just randomly, uh, I want to try that, mm-hmm. and it's good. Mm-hmm. They don't put anything bad that's on that menu, right. and so. I would say go there, um, get it with... Uh, Some soups, the, the maratangs yeah. or whatever, yeah. yeah. Beer, yeah. Yeah. it goes perfect with beer, mm-hmm. soju, mm-hmm. whatever, baiju, whatever they sell yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Any juice. Like, yeah, any <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, man, it's so good. Oh, so, man, I'm starving right now. Um, yeah. a, the other thing uh, that that um, that I would like to suggest is um, try... It's called Han Jongshik. Right. Oh Which, yeah. If you want something traditional. Yeah. Um. What that is is basically it's you just get a a, a like a bowl of rice and then you get like forty different side dishes. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean. Mm-hmm. And so you don't have like a full entree per se. And when Danny says forty different, like he literally means forty different dishes. You know. Yeah. More and more, more foreigners are are becoming aware of this word panchan. Mm-hmm. Side dish. Side dish. Yeah. Right. So it's basically. Your table filled to every single corner and inch yeah. with uh, panchan. Yeah. And so, yeah, this is, if you want something traditional, mm-hmm. uh, 
And I think you can get it back in the States, but nothing like you're going to see here. No way. Like they have places where they actually, they have to cart in Mm -hmm. another table that goes on top of your table. Right. You know, like because they don't, it's just too much work to put each individual dish out. Yeah. They they bring you the table on a on a cart like they they uh, cart it out for you. Yeah. And that table goes on top of your <laughs> table full of stuff. <laughs> and you get your poribap, your barley rice yeah. or what whatever you get your dudongji. Uh-huh. It's like burnt rice yeah. uh uh with in water mm-hmm. and then you get like t- five, 10 different kinds of kimchi. Mm-hmm. You get like fried, like fish uh, that was fried, mm-hmm. or they have like a deep fried fish. They have like all these, whatever you can. Yeah, there's just so much stuff. And then uh, you can also order your main, like a purgogi. Yeah. Or like a, uh, whatever it is, you know, there's just so much. It's a mind blow. Yeah. So, so to, to me, I've, you know, I've. You know, given that I'm from L.A., when I see Hanjang Shik, I'm like, they don't have that in, in, in L.A. Like, not like this. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, now, the other dish that I had, mm-hmm. Koreans swear by it, especially when you're sick or, like, when yeah. you feel a little weak, mm-hmm. is uh, samgyetang, which is the... the, the chicken soup, the basically. chicken soup. Uh, but not like the chicken noodle soup from what we're used to. No, it's, like, basically a full chicken or yeah. hen yeah. in your pot. Yeah. And uh, it's just filled with ginseng. Yeah, dates and all this other like right. yeah, uh, it, it it almost tastes a little bit me- medicinal. It does, yeah, because those those herbs and roots mm-hmm. that are in there mm-hmm. are what people uh, think of when they think of Eastern medicine. Mm-hmm. They have mm-hmm. those all those roots and crazy th- and like deer and antlers and all that stuff, right? Yeah, like, yeah. like we call it like mountain sticks and rocks. But mm-hmm. uh, I uh, I was I was a little bit under the weather about mm-hmm. a month ago. And this girl, she was like, oh, I'm going to take you to this famous spot. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so we went there. And um, it was like the most potent. First of all, that place, yeah. they give you some ginseng soju. Yeah, ginseng soju. And the top, you yeah. know what I mean, in the beginning. And I mm-hmm. was like, what? Ginseng soju? What is this? <laughs> right? So, like, you know, you're going to get drunk, but you're going to feel better after, you know, like, you know. <laughs> so I drank that. And then it's it's samgyetang it's like like you said it's like a whole hen or a chicken and when you open it up you know the stuffing in it yeah is it's like glutinous rice it's, it's, it's like this rice like yeah perfectly it was it was so the shape of the cavity of yeah the chicken it was so crazy good yeah uh, like in terms of good for it felt like i was getting better yeah yeah and it, I, I swear to you the next day mm-hmm that that the flu was gone it's a hard sell too for people that are visiting it's like i like whenever my friends come especially my white friends mm-hmm. or like my non-korean friends mm-hmm. like i uh i learned this i usually ask hey do you want to go get do you like chicken soup mm-hmm. and they're like oh you know i'm in korea i don't want to get chicken soup yeah they usually want to pass on it so yeah. it's one of those places that you just have to kind of take people yeah because it's not chicken soup no. You know, it's a different experience. So, like, if someone, if you're visiting Korea and someone suggests, hey, do you want to have chicken soup and it doesn't sound great to you? Just try it. It's really good, actually. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's something that um, uh, you could maybe get back from where uh, you're, you're from, but it's not going to be like this. Yeah. So, there's a place, uh, there's a famous place called Tosokchan mm-hmm. uh, near the, the palace yeah. uh, in Seoul uh, that's really popular. There's always a line out the door. Mm-hmm. Uh, not so popular with Koreans. Mm-hmm. Oh, it is. I mean, it, there's a lot of Koreans that go there as well. Yeah. Too, but um, it's it's a it's worth it. I've been there a handful of times, and I've always been a happy customer. And and it mm-hmm. looks like the interior of the restaurant. It looks like an old like an old house. You have to you take your I mean? shoes off yeah. and you sit sit on cross, the floor. Like, they, yeah. Yeah. Or well, now they have they have other rooms actually where you can if you don't want to sit with a, uh, take your shoes off, you can just sit in a room. Oh, right dude, right. I didn't know that there was that option because yeah. I, I hate sitting on the floor and <laughs> they put me in the sit on the floor option. Um, now, n- now I, I've asked a handful of foreign or foreigners or non-Korean people like that live here. What is their favorite dish in Korea when they first got to Korea? Uh-huh, uh-huh. And I would say the majority of majority of them mm-hmm. said that they loved um, 제육볶음. 
which is the 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 stir fried oh, spicy yeah. pork. Yeah. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? And they they said that that flavor profile was like their favorite when yeah. they first got here. Yeah. So I mean, if you're if you're not familiar with Korean food, cheokbokgum is one way to go. And that mm-hmm. stuff, to be honest, is not hard to screw up. Like every yeah. place has a you know it's it's mm-hmm. okay it's edible you know. It's a typical lunch uh, yeah. meal for for nine to five workers yeah. here. Yeah, I notice you get a cheopokum with like sam. Yeah, which is like you know, just um, leaves like like you know what I mean yeah, like lettuce, cabbage, leaves, yeah. cabbage, yeah. all that stuff, and yeah. you you stuff that with rice and your panchan. And yeah, it's yeah, it's, and, it's good and healthy. And you make what we call a <laughs> Korean taco. Yeah, you know, you know, like you know, you know, you know, tacos are usually tortilla mm-hmm. as the foundation, but the Korean taco is like some sort of leafy vegetable that you use as the mm-hmm. taco casing. You know what I mean? Right, and then right. You stuff it in your mouth. Um, now there are things that I've had in Korea where, where as I, you know, my palate is kind of is is, is weird, right? Mm-hmm. But I I tend to gravitate toward like I have an American palate. Mm-hmm. In terms of the food that I'm used to, okay, right, and there are certain foods here mm-hmm. that I'm still not down with. Uh, well, like what? Bundegi, which is silkworm, right? The silkworm stew, right? Silkworm p- pupae, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> pupae, pupae, yeah. 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 Right. So, so it's like like silkworm, like a pupa, pupa, or, yeah, yeah, right, yeah. and it's in a stew. And I'm like, yo, man, this is some fear factor stuff. You it know? is. You know? It's pretty funky. Yeah. Like, I personally love it. Mm. Like, I, I can't get enough of bundagi. Yeah. Like, they have it in stew form. You can also get it at, like, uh, get it in a cup, kind of sautéed or, yeah. you know, like, on the street. It's hard to find yeah. these days. Apparently, back in the day, it used to be, like, the street food on every corner. Right. Um, but you get, get it, like, just... Just kind of like uh, stir fried with like salt and pepper or whatever it was, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. just just eat it like a snack, yeah, like, like popcorn, yeah, you know. But n- the the stews, mm-hmm. I particularly like it uh, when I'm drinking, and it's like in this funky stew. It has a weird smell at first, and when you taste it, of course, it's like fear factor. It's like very you're you're eating like these bugs. Yep, basically, mm-hmm. it's really funky. But if you're adventurous and you're visiting, that's something to try. I think it's an yeah. acquired taste, but like it is an acquired but, taste. But but I haven't acquired it yet. <laughs> I, I <laughs> right, think you know? I, I would put money. Uh, uh, I would put money and bet that you w- you'll begin to get to like it within a a year or so. Yeah, I would probably have here. to. I, I would have to do. I have to mm-hmm. try it a lot, but I haven't yeah. actually. Matter of fact, I haven't tried it once since. Have I got you here. tried Sangnakji? Yes, the live uh octopus live squid, squid. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so yeah. they just basically cut it up it's not live yeah but it's still it's squirming uh, squirming because yeah. of the muscular yeah you know, whatever that science is. yeah but um whatever that science is <laughs> it doesn't taste like much i mean uh, it, yeah. you have it with like changiram and uh, maybe like garlic and some samjang which yeah. is basically um like it's like a mixture of like uh, soybean paste and and, yeah. and the, uh, fermented the, soybean paste yeah. and I like I like those flavors like the garlic mm-hmm. and the soybean paste and the actual it's more for the texture yeah and maybe the experience right I mean the experience I'm kind of over it now yeah. because I've had it so many times but I do enjoy having sangnakji yeah that that as a side that dish. doesn't bug me because it doesn't taste like anything really I mean there's 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 yeah. like a, there's like a a hint of the ocean, but that's about it, right? Yeah. You know, um, I've. But if you're visiting and mm-hmm. you've never seen anything like that, yeah, it's something to try. Yeah, you know why not? Like you could uh, try like squirmy something that feels like it's live. Yeah, um, uh, I know a lot of people. I've I personally like posted that one time on my Instagram, uh-huh. and some activist was like, "That's wrong." Yeah. and just wanted to start a debate. Yeah, um, so that might exist, but. Uh, yeah. I, Technically, it's not alive. Okay. And it's supposed to be... I mean, it's fresh. Right. You know? Um, you, you have fresh sushi and you don't... People don't make a big muck about that. Right. This just happens to be moving because that's the nature of it. Mm-hmm. Um, and I will say I've had the straight up um, live um, live squid uh-huh. where it's not cut up. Uh-huh. So th- there's some issues with that. I probably won't try that again because yeah. it is actually live and uh-huh. you're eating it live and you're killing it in your mouth. 
That's another thing. That's crazy. If you want to really do something crazy, and you're okay with that kind so you, of moral, so, you, so, so you have like a black belt, aside, a black know. belt in Korean cuisine right now. But that- I will say it was one of the tastiest mm. things I've had mm. in Korea. But um, yeah, moral is- issues aside, mm. I don't know. We might get some uh, flack on that. But uh, uh, how about um, uh, the other one was hongo, which is skate fish. <laughs> Oh, skate fish. That yeah. one. And you know how I, I had to eat it? Because um, my uncle, who lives here, mm-hmm. he he basically called me out. Mm-hmm. He's like, do you eat hongo? I was like, I've never had it. He was, and then and then he, hongo is skate fish. Basically, it's like, it almost tastes it's like... a uh, rotten fish. Rotten. It, it almost tastes like a... It smells like a urinal cake. Yeah. Like ammonia. You know what right. I mean? How, and, and, how do you know how that smells? You don't know what I, you don't know what I've been through, man. <laughs> <laughs> but um, and uh, so my uncle, he was like, "Yo, like, have you ever tried it?" Oh, he said it in Korean, obviously, right? <laughs> you know. And then I was mm-hmm. like, uh, "No, I've never tried it." And then he goes, "I don't know if you Americans would like this. I mean, you Americans, oh, you know, like he gave yeah. me one of those like you Americans, you Americans right. have like a weird, you know, taste buds or whatever." Yeah. And I was like, "You calling me out, Unc?" Uh-huh. order it right uh-huh. so so we ate it and um uh, i tell you what man um i don't think i'll wholeheartedly order it yeah on my own I yeah will. it it is a funky mess yeah yeah so i would say if you're visiting <laughs> don't get hong yeah only if you're the most adventurous of uh, people because mm-hmm. it's like it's acquired mm-hmm. uh but it goes even further than that like yep. it's uh even Koreans don't like it. Mm-hmm. Um, so um, there's a specific... I, I I would say, like, I'm guessing here, I'm, like, spitballing, but it's maybe, like, one out of ten Koreans mm-hmm. really love it. Mm-hmm. Um, that And that's a lot. Yeah. You know? And I actually love it. Oh, so you, you, you're, you got a, you just showing off. When I first came here, Korean. I was hanging out with a lot of people that, I don't know, they were just trying to, like, mess with me. Yeah. But I've had Hongo enough times, mm-hmm. like twenty plus times, uh-huh. where now I'm just kind of like I I can taste it in my mouth. My mouth is watering right now. Really? And so, but there's good Hongo, yeah, and there's bad Hongo. How do you, you tell? Know? How can you tell the difference? They both smell like. There's a Hongo place yeah. near Kanga, Kanga uh, near the palace. I uh-huh. can't even say, it. Uh-huh. <laughs> but it's actually Michelin star rated. Really? Yeah. So if you go to a really good Hongo place. Uh, if you, but you still have to like Hongo okay, to okay. appreciate it. So whoever it's gave some the Mich- funky stuff, man. So whoever gave the Michelin star must have liked Hongo. Yeah, I mean it's yeah. it's it's really good. Oh, though. interesting. But uh, if you're visiting, yeah, maybe get the Sangyeopsal first mm-hmm. and the Yangkochi. Right. Um, but yeah, the Bundagi and the, there's some funky stuff that you can try if you're trying to be adventurous here. Yeah. There's lots of stuff like that. Uh, we won't get into it, but there's. It's illegal, mm-hmm. but it's one of those things that they made illegal because of the Olympics. And we're talking about... Oh, the Pushing Tang. Yeah. 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 Uh, we won't talk about that. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. it's... In, uh, we'll just yeah. go on uh, yeah. forever about yeah. that. My friends asked me, how did it taste? And I was like, it was rough. No, but... <laughs> it's messed up, yo. <laughs> that's, the, that's as far as we'll go on that. Um, but there's there's another topic I want to talk about, but maybe for another episode mm-hmm. because we can just talk forever about it. Yeah. Uh, in Korea, in Korea, uh, the delivery, the uh, food delivery mm-hmm. game is unmatchable. It's the best thing. Yeah. Uh, it's the best gift to human. Yeah, and this <laughs> like and, and it's I not, can't even talk. I'm so like. And it's know. not even like a you know like in the states. There's only like a handful of foods that can be like deliverable, right? Yeah. Like like pizza, mm-hmm. uh, like Chinese food, Thai food, yeah. uh, and now with Uber Eats, you can order, uh, you can get more, yeah. but but not like you can. Yeah, here. like yeah. here you can have everything and anything under the sun. Yeah, uh, delivered to you. Plus, you, they'll send you like like a table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, they'll yeah. send you t- like plates and yeah. silver silverware. Yeah. Um, and I'm not talking about plastic silverware. I'm yeah. talking actual silverware yeah. that gets sent to you, yeah. and then they pick it up later. Uh-huh. Like they'll set the table for you for yeah. in certain certain places. Like you can do like shabu shabu, and they'll set a table for you. Damn. They'll do stuff like that. So um, there's a lot to talk about. Yeah, well, that, that's that's yeah, on so. a further e- in a, yeah. a later episode. But yeah. uh, 
one thing I wanted to talk about uh, for the restaurant episode is that mm -hmm. no tipping. No tipping. That's right. Yeah. Right. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like we are so used to from where we're from that we have to tip, and if you don't, you know, you 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 look like you look like a, a cheapskate. Yeah. But here. Yeah. Nah, man. Like you, I felt weird. And and number one, you don't ask for the bill. You have to go to the counter to pay. You just basically pay when you leave. Yeah, yeah. Stand up, you go out to the register, and uh -huh. you pay, and you can leave. Yeah. And tip, I've had uh, people actually run out after me uh -huh. uh, and, and give back the money. Because really? they're like, oh, you left. Oh, you really? left. The, you left some money. Yeah. And um, so... It's not customary to leave tip. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you really, really want to, you can. Yeah. But it's it, don't worry about it. Yeah. It's like, uh, yeah. Yeah. The final thing I want to talk about, mm -hmm. and this is very important. Mm -hmm. If you're visiting Korea, uh -huh. you must do this. Fried chicken. Yes. Fried chicken is a must. Mm -hmm. um, you know, samgyeopsal, all that stuff is all great. You know, it's like what you do to go out and get a meal. But right. there's fried, the fried chicken culture here is pretty great. Mm -hmm. Um, and so my favorite way to do, do fried chicken, you mm. can actually go to a restaurant that serves fried chicken and get the fr chimek, which is beer and chicken and beer. Yeah. Uh, like you see in the Korean dramas, like you can do that. But my favorite way to do it is at the Hangang River. Uh, -huh. uh and you order fried chicken there mm -hmm. and get, um, beer on tap at like a 7-Eleven or 7 whatever. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Bring soju, uh -huh. set a picnic by the water. If the weather's right, mm -hmm. you, you get your fried chicken. And it's all good. Korea just does it well. They do that double fry thing, whatever. Yeah. I don't know what they do. It's not the buttermilk, uh, the buttermilk base that most Americans are known, uh, yeah. that they know about. Yeah. But it is, it tastes different. Yeah. But I like Korean fried chicken a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's lots to choose from too. Like there's yeah. the soy marinade. Mm -hmm. There's the spicy, like mm -hmm. super, like just rip your tongue out kind of uh, hot. Yeah. They have uh, the plain salt and pepper, mm -hmm. like tongdak kind of thing. Right. You know, um, which is just fried with batter. Yeah. And it just tastes like chicken. It's yeah. good. <laughs> so. but, but I would like to emphasize something this is mm -hmm. something that i noticed when i got here is that when you order fried chicken from where i'm from you know the parts legs thighs breasts yeah. wings that's mm -hmm. it right mm -hmm. here you might get some foreign parts that they're not used to i'll be like yo what is this oh yeah. that's the neck or like you know yeah. what i mean or you'll get like a, a, a piece that you're like what the heck like, yeah, the neck's always in there. Yeah, the neck bone. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, this is this is like it's it's like a a part of the chicken that you that exists, but yeah. you're not familiar with. You know what right. I mean? Yeah. You know. So be careful because you can tell what the legs look like and what the wings look like, but everything else is a crapshoot. You know mm -hmm. what I mean in terms of right, you right. know. So and by the way, when you're at the river, you can order delivery. Yeah. To wherever you are, even though there's no address, you just tell them uh, where you are at the Hangang. Yeah. And often you find the menus there. Yeah. Like just, they just know that people, where people are hanging out, there's yeah. people handing out menus and stuff. Yeah, like we're that. 100 meters to the right of the 7 Eleven. I'm in a blue shirt. And yeah. then 10 minutes later, a dude finds you and goes, yeah. Hey, you're the guy that ordered chicken, right? I'm like, yeah. Oh, this is magical, right? I mean, so. Never mind, you can order whatever you want. Like, you can get jajigman, you can yeah. get all that stuff. Mm -hmm. But chicken, I mean, you can even go to the convenience store and ask them the, for, for help. Yeah. And so um, uh, it's awesome. It's like one of my favorite pastimes when the weather's nice mm -hmm. uh, to go to the Hangang and have chicken and beer and soju. Like, uh, have a picnic out there. Well, the weather is picking up, buddy. It's and so, so, I mean, even though you're vegan, mm -hmm. I can eat the chicken. Yeah, and then you can have a like a salad or something. <laughs> if I want to quote, <laughs> if I want to quote Nacho Libre, right? <laughs> right? Uh, and yeah, let's just hang out, bro. Uh, so um, that's it for this episode. Thanks for listening. Uh, I know yeah. you are my my mouth is salivating right now because I want to eat all this food. Yeah. Uh, uh, but yeah, uh, 
keep on tuning in. Thanks for listening. And uh, yeah, we're going to talk about the other food stuff. Yeah, we got a lot more to talk next, about. Yeah. Please keep tuning in because we have so much more to talk about when it comes to food and yeah. Korea and when you're in Seoul. <laughs> <laughs>